Hey, it's Randy. Here in the garage, what I've got in the uh, work stand today is uh, an old uh, Murray Girls Mountain bike, you know, Walmart bike, whatever, probably from the 90s. And I think what I'm gonna do is um, chop that top tube off and level it out and make a uh, boy's bike out of it. And uh, I don't know, we'll see what we do next. I'm surprised that actually fit pretty good. Um, I think I'm just gonna grind the paint off here and just weld it in right there. Okay, got the top tube uh, welded back in. Did a little grinding on it. It is far from pretty, but uh, hopefully it'll just stay in place. That's all I'm after. All right, it's the next morning. I got the uh, frame and fork all painted and let it dry overnight. So I think I'll get that fork mounted and then we'll just uh, start uh, throwing some parts at it and see what sticks. Yeah, I'm not sure which combination I'll go with. I've even got a black rim that I could put the green tire on. Do I want to go single speed coaster brake? Or uh, multi speed with the derailleur? I've got a two speed kickback. I don't know what we're going to do here as far as the crank. I don't think I want to go through the trouble to uh, put in a, a three-piece uh, adapter. So we'll probably run a one-piece crank. But do I want to do a coaster brake or rim brakes, gears, I don't know.
So I'm trying to figure out what tire and wheel combo I want to use. Pedals. Let's see. These.
You know, after getting all this put together, um, this rear wheel is a Sturmy Archer two-speed kickback coaster brake. And I'm just not fond of riding coaster brakes anymore, and I really want to put uh, something on here that uh, free wheels and a, and a hand brake, rim brake. So this is a, uh, of course, a single speed chain ring. I don't know if I can get that to work with just a five speed free wheel. I don't know if it'll go through the derailleur. If that doesn't work, maybe we'll just fix it to one of the five of the, of this uh, five speed free wheel and just make it a single speed, but then I'll at least be able to, uh, to free wheel and we'll have a handbrake. Now we just need a derailleur and a shifter. There we go, that will probably work. Falcon. The Shimano. Five speed shifter. Okay, it seemed to be getting hung up on that master link, so let's uh, see if it'll run a little more smoothly without the master link. And I think I've still got enough chain left here I can do this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the brakes and derailleur all cabled up, and I'll check back in after that. Okay, got all the cabling done, brakes, shifter working, so now I think it's ready to run. Alright, uh, let's do a little recap on uh, what I did here. So I started with a, uh, a Murray uh, step-through frame, probably from the 90s, uh, you know, cheap bike, steel. I cut the uh, top tube, raised it up, welded it back in. Let's see, put a fork on there that I had, uh, st stripped it of paint, and gave it a quick paint job. Put on a, these 26 inch aluminum wheels, mismatched. Uh, the front one was already painted black. Uh, the rear one I painted black. And yes, the uh, brakes are gonna wear the paint off the uh, sidewalls of the rim. So you got a one piece crank. I believe that's, yeah, profile, chain ring. Maybe it's even the Black Widow model. Got a five-speed freewheel on there, Shimano derailleur, these bear trap pedals. These handlebars are from a state bicycle company. They're the oil slick. You can see they're green and purple. The stem, I had previously painted purple and repainted it black. Used a quill stem adapter here. Got Ori grips. Got these Lee Chi brakes. Front and rear. Kind of different. Just, I don't even know what these levers are. Derailleurs operated by the Shimano uh, indexed five speed shifter. The saddle. I think it's a giant. Uh, probably more meant for a road bike. Uh, steel seat post. Let's see. Oh, some uh, ratchet strap I uh, found on the side of the road some time ago. Wrap that around there to uh, reinforce my crappy welding. And I'm just kidding about that. That's just to hide my <laughs> crappy welding. And let's see. The tires are... Phoenix brand, F-E-N-I-X, I believe they're 26 by 2.125. Just a street tread cruiser tire. Got these quirky valve stem caps. And I believe that about covers it. Um, considering what the bike is, it, it really rides pretty good. So, as always, uh, thanks for hanging out and following along, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,